What's up everybody? Welcome back to Deadbeat Garage, episode 5 of the Honda Civic build. And if you remember correctly from the last video today, today's a special day. Spray day. Today we're going to be spraying the car, but first things first, where's the car at? Because it's not in here. Maybe it's out front. It's not out front either. Now jog back in your memory to the video before this one where I said, hold on, I'm not spraying the car in my driveway, I'm spraying it on the side of my house. And that's exactly where it's at, and she's over there waiting for us, so let's go. Alright guys, here we are, all set up on the side of the house, just like I said, and honestly, you're pretty much ready to spray. But, the sun is going down over there. So I'm kind of pressed for time, so I'm gonna try to hurry up and get through this as quick as I can. Um, I'm starting spraying kind of late in the evening. Should have got to it a lot sooner, but to be honest with you, I kind of spent the entire day sanding the living shit out of that thing to make sure everything's all nice and smooth. I did not video that because I figured you guys have probably had enough of seeing me sand for hours, so it's kind of boring. But for the most part, I got it all sanded. I got everything prepped, ready to go. Oh, I'm remembering right now, the only thing I have left is to cover the tires on the back. Raven, go get some plastic, cover the tires. Remember when we primed it? Got a kit? Yeah, hurry up, please. Yeah, other than that, I'm gonna set the camera up probably over there in the corner of the fence where you see that ladder kind of sticking up. I'm gonna set the camera up over there so you guys can get a good angle of me spraying pretty much to the whole thing so that, uh, yeah, so that you guys can see what I'm doing. But, uh, Let's get to it. Watch what I'm doing here because this is something that you want to take note of. Whenever you're spraying a large surface like the roof of the car or even a hood, you don't ever want to reach all the way out and start in the center. You want to keep your paint wet as you're going. So what you want to do is you always want to push the paint away from you on a large area. You start closest to you and you push it towards the center so that whenever you walk around the car or around the hood whatever large surface you're working on you can reach out to the center and pick up right where you left off so i'm starting from one end working the paint to the middle and then notice i walk around the car and then i start right where i left off in the middle and then i pull the paint towards me it's called the push and pull method
what I'm doing here is I'm crawling inside the engine bay, obviously, as you can see. But the purpose is, is I'm trying to get all the hard to reach areas, like you know, you know the little crevices and everything inside the engine bay. That from the outside of the engine bay, when I'm spraying, it's going to be nearly impossible to get to. So. I'm actually getting inside of the engine bay, spraying as much as I can that I'm not going to be able to reach from the outside before I crawl back over. Because once I get a good coat of paint all the way around this thing, I'm not going to really be able to crawl in and out of it without, you know, screwing the paint up. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Here's another tip. Pay attention to how I have my hose wrapped around my neck. Do you see that? Now, if I didn't have my hose wrapped up around my neck, where would it be? Okay, it would be hanging down in front of my body where, as I'm moving my gun, it'd be smacking against the car. You don't want that, obviously, whenever you're putting paint on it. Okay, so another thing while spraying, you always want to pay attention to where your hose is at. You don't want to put out a nice coat of paint and accidentally have your hose whack against it because then you're going to be pissed. So what I do, as you can see, I have the hose going from the gun. It goes up around my neck and then I kind of hold it behind my back to where not only is the hose out of the way, but my arm that I'm not using is out of the way. And even there's, there's times where I'm holding the hose and I'll kind of grab the back of my t-shirt and I'll pull my t-shirt tight against me so that my t-shirt's not flapping in, in certain situations where you have to get kind of close to the car you know those are just things to pay attention to while you're painting because having to go back and redo it because you accidentally hit it with your t-shirt or the hose to your gun uh, it's kind of annoying so <laughs> just take note of that
All right, guys. Uh, I'm super sad right now. Um, I mean, not the paint job. To be honest with you, I have no idea what it even looks like. So, <laughs> as you can see, it's gotten pretty damn dark out here. I'm on coat number two. I really want to do three coats, but dude, it is just, it's too dark. It's way too dark, and um, I'm gonna get you guys back in the garage. We'll talk in there. saying um it got really freaking dark outside and it sucks spraying in the dark actually it's it's impossible because i don't want to get a bunch of runs and shit in it that i have to fix and then probably end up breeze spraying it yada yada but i don't know dude to be honest with you i'm kind of getting this feeling that i'm giving up and to be i don't like giving up so what I'm thinking is, I know I said I don't like spraying in floodlights, but if you guys can see them, I got a floodlight right, oh, 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 right, right there. And I got one right there that I kind of use for lighting in my garage because the lights in my garage freaking suck. <sighs> Fuck it, you know what I mean? I have a shitload of extension cords and I figured why not I don't like spraying in the floodlight or I don't like using floodlights to spray but you know what how about this you guys like this video okay because I'm not going to give up and the reason why I'm not going to give up because I want you guys to have more content so I want to give you guys more shit to watch so give me a like Right down there in the bottom of the video, you got a thumbs down, you got a thumbs up. Don't thumbs down it. No thumbs down. I mean, I guess. It's your opinion. Whatever. But give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and just because your boy is saying fuck it, he's going to get the floodlights out, and we're going to run floodlights, and we're going to get the third coat on this. So, see you guys in a minute. Uno el minuto, something like that. Pen, um, I'm not going to say What are the kids doing right now? I'm supposed to be out tortillas. Yeah, we're out here. I'm out here making YouTube videos, and these guys aren't out here helping me, but they're sure as hell in here ro watching Roman. I know. He I told him to put. All right, guys, we're back. I got the lights all set up. There's one there on top of the ladder. There's one back here clamped against the fence, and I mean it's decent. To be honest with you, for spraying purposes, it's all right, okay? I'm gonna make it work and I'll get by. Um, for as far as video quality, it's probably gonna suck and I apologize for that. But um, we gotta get this done. We gotta get this done tonight so that, uh, yeah, that's one more step closer to having this build finished. But I'm gonna set you guys up over here on the tripod and Let's get coat number three going.
surprise you guys. We managed to get all three coats on the car, even though we ran out of daylight. Ugh. I'm sorry I was so pressed for time on this video. Uh, to be honest with you, I had a really busy weekend. A lot of stuff that had to get done, and I, I honestly w wasn't thinking I was even going to get to make a video this weekend at all. Though, I told you guys in the last video I want to work on that. I want to at least start putting out a video, at least one video a week, you know what I mean? So I told myself, I was like, dude, screw that. You got to get out there and you got to get at least something done. So here I am, Sunday, kind of late in the evening, pressed for time. But hey, we managed to get all three coats of paint on the car. Uh, I'm sorry we ran out of daylight and I'm not really able to take you guys for like a walk around and show you exactly how it came out and I wanted to do a little bit more of like a hands-on thing for you guys like give you tips as far as spraying and whatever um, but I just I didn't have the time for that you know and I apologize for that there will be a lot more painting still to come in which I'll be able to do that with you um, Obviously the doors and the bumpers and the fenders and stuff, all that needs to be painted still. The car isn't completely done either. Uh, I'm going to wet sand it and still got to put a clear coat on there. So, yeah, I'm sure I'll be able to get into some tips and tricks and stuff uh, in the future. Uh, unfortunately for this video, I just didn't have the time to. But, yeah, I wanted to make something. I wanted to give you guys something, you know, to watch. And, um... But yeah, I, I mean, I feel accomplished at least. It got got the car all painted, got the shell all painted. Um, still sitting on the side of the house now. I didn't even get to see what it came out like. It's too dark. I mean, I could walk around there with a flashlight, but that's not the same. You want to be able to see the whole damn thing, you know? Um, so yeah, next video, uh, keep an eye out for it because... Uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys the hatch. I'll do a walk around of it, let you guys see what it looks like. And I think what I, I, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do quite yet, but I think what, I, what we're gonna end up doing is getting the doors out. Getting the doors out, bring them in here in the garage, get them set up so we can work on them. I've never done this before, but I wanna get all the insides of it. And uh, that, uh, that, you know, what is it called? That bar that's in there for structure. I, I can't even think of what it's called right now, but I want to completely gut the inside of the doors and pretty much take everything, all the internals of it all out and cut that inside skin out. Pretty much just leave them as, uh, you know, bare shells, as light as they possibly can be. Um, I need to figure out a way to like fab up like a, a bracket or something to hold the handle for the door because we're obviously we still have handles to open the door um but yeah that's what i'm going to be doing next so make sure you guys keep an eye out for the next video um i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel subscribe so you can be one of the first people to know whenever i release a new video um Leave some comments down below. If you guys have any questions, you know, like maybe you're working on something similar, you know, it might not even be a Honda or, you know, but if you're working on your own vehicle and you have a question about something, you know, like uh, as far as painting or maybe body work or something along those lines, um, shoot me a comment down below and I'll do the best I can to answer your questions. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I know it was kind of a short video, um, but I appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. Click that button down there. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And that's it, man. I'm fucking tired as hell. You go take a shower, get all this paint overspray off of me. Uh, got work first thing in the morning. Yippee. But, uh, yeah. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next weekend. Peace.